This is the VOA Special English Health Report. The International Red Cross Movement grew out of a major battle in the unification of Italy. The Battle of Solferino took place 150 years ago, in June of 1859. This past week, volunteers from Red Cross and Red Crescent societies around the world gathered in Solferino to mark the anniversary. About 8,000 people marched in a torch-lit event called the Fiaculata. They followed in the footsteps of those who took injured soldiers from Solferino to the nearest village, Castiglione. Hannington Sigaro Naya, National Youth President of the Ugandan Red Cross Society, says the visit made him want to work harder to help people. I'm going back to Uganda in Africa and to make more moves for humanity. I know when the young people come together, we have the possibility of doing whatever it takes to make this world a better place. In the battle, Allied French and Sardinian troops defeated the Austrian army. Around 6,000 men were killed and more than 30,000 were wounded. Yet, says Swiss historian Francois Bougnon, the battle lasted only 12 hours. He says a Swiss businessman named Henri Dumas was horrified by what he saw. Thousands of wounded were brought to the next town of Castiglione where he arrived and there was practically no medical assistance. So he saw hundreds of men, thousands of men suffering awfully from very deep wounds and left to die without any real assistance. He says Henri Dunant quickly took action. The businessman got local women to provide food and water. He also got them to dress the wounds of soldiers without concern for their nationality. Dunant later wrote a book called A Memory of Solferino. In it, he launched two ideas. One was the idea of voluntary relief societies to provide assistance to the wounded or other people. This led to the Red Cross and Red Crescent movement. The second idea was a treaty protecting the wounded and medical personnel on the field of battle. This, explains historian Francois Bougnon, is the origin of the Geneva Conventions. Stephen Ryan is the communications officer for youth and volunteers at the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies. He says it is important to get young people involved in volunteer work at an early age. Young people need to be given the opportunity to, to really feel like they're making a difference in the world, that it gives people an opportunity to make a change that they want to see in the world. And that's the VOA Special English Health Report, with reporting from Solferino by Lisa Schlein. Archives of our programs are at voaspecialenglish.com. I'm Steve Ember.